Welcome to Lesson 1 Continued, What is a Rational Number? Now that we know what a rational number is, let's look at comparing and ordering rational numbers. To do this, it might be helpful to picture a number line and remember that numbers further to the left are smaller and numbers further to the right are larger. So if you are asked to compare negative 6 and negative 2, see that negative 6 is further to the left on the number line, so it is smaller than negative 2. We can write that as negative 6 is less than negative 2. Now the first example asks us to determine which number is greater. So I see that 1 is negative and 1 is positive. So I'm going to choose the positive number there, since positive numbers are further to the right on the number line, so they are always greater than negative numbers. So we don't need to do a number line for this one. We just know that. Now the next one, we have two negatives in fraction form. What I'm going to suggest we do is when they're in fraction form is we find a common denominator. So once they have a common denominator, we can just compare the numerators since the denominators are going to be the same. Now if we look at uh, the denominators there, 4 and 5, common denominator will be 20. So I'm going to multiply the first fraction by 5 over 5 to give me negative 5 over 20. The second fraction can be multiplied by 4 over 4 to give you negative 8 over 20. Now if you just look at the numerators there, negative 5 and negative 8, and picture the number line, negative 8 is further to the left on the number line, so that is smaller. And that corresponds to negative 2 over 5. Now the next example are both negatives again, but one's in fraction form and one is in decimal form. So I'm going to change that fraction into a decimal so I can compare them. So I'm going to divide 6 into 7. So it goes once. I'm going to have to bring down a 0 here. And place your decimal right above. So that goes in once again. Subtract, I get a 4. And I have to bring down an, another 0 here. Goes in 6 times. And if I subtract, I get a 4 again. I'm going to end up really with 6 repeating here. So what I have is negative 1.16 repeating and negative 1.1. Now if I look at the numbers, the ones place is the same, the tenths place is the same. So if we go to the hundredths place, this has a 6, this has a 0 here. Now I'm going to just draw this on the number line so you can see which one is greater. So I'm going to break my number line into hundredths. Negative 1.10, negative 1.11, negative 1.12, and so on. I am going to stop when I get to negative 1.17. So that's big enough there now. So negative 1.1 is here on the number line, and negative 1.16. Let's say we are roughly here. So negative 1.16 is here, so negative 1.6 repeating would be just over halfway there. So since negative 1.1 is further to the right on the number line, that one is greater. Now here we have to put in the correct inequality sign. So we have to put in either a less than sign to make the expression true or a greater than sign. 
Now A are fractions, but they already have a common denominator. So that is lucky. We just need to compare the numerators. Since 6 is less than 8, 6 over 7 is less than 8 over 7. Now for B, look at the ones place, they're the same. And you can move on to the tenths place. Again, I can put this on a number line so we can compare them. I'm going to break my number line into tenths. Negative 6.0, negative 6.1, 6.2, and I'm going to go all the way up to 6.8. Okay, so we got negative 6.8 here and negative 6.44. We stay right here just before that like halfway point. So negative 6.44 is further to the right on the number line. So I'm going to say that that one is greater. Now the last example here, we have to put these numbers on the number line and then order them from least to greatest. So look at the number line here and see how it's divided. This is 0, and this is 1. The halfway point here would be 0 0.5. So if I'm going to place 0 0.4, I'm going to place that just before the halfway point here. So 0 0.4, I'm going to cross that off. Negative 2.1, so I find negative 2 here. So just pass that is negative 2.1. Now 6 over 11, I'm just going to put that into my calculator to see what that is as a decimal. It's 0 0.545454, so 0 0.54 repeating. So if I go to 0 0.5 and just pass that, that's where 0 0.54 would be, roughly. You just need a, an estimate, doesn't need to be exact. We'll just write 6 over 11 underneath the dot there. Negative 1.999 repeating. That's very close to negative 2. So you can put that on the number line pretty close to negative 2 there. Now, negative 1 and a third. You might remember that a third is 0 0.3 repeating but you can also put that into the calculator. So negative 1 and then negative 1.5 would be, say, roughly right here. And then 2.55, just past the 2.5 mark. I'll put 2.55. And now, if I'm going to write them from least to greatest, I'm going to start furthest on the left of the number line. Negative 2.1, negative 1.9, negative 1 and a third, 0.4, 6 over 11, and 2.55. So there you go, ordered from least to greatest.